Search for Stitch. Let's do it. Search for Stitch. The noble princess of Argos, Hela, could not shake the terrible loss of her father. It haunted her every thought. He died to attain the relic blood song, yet he did not find it. The undead beast, Stitch, claimed he did find it. Hela's heart was heavy. Stitch knew something of her father, of blood song, and of its powers. She decided to quest to find and interrogate Stitch. Unsure of where he lived, she went to the prisons of Aquila, where its inmates would surely know. The ancient prison, centuries old, built deep into the Underearth, was abandoned. Drawing her sword, Kila entered. A huge inmate confronted her. He raged as he attacked. A new foe. Come on, load and skull. We got people to fuck up. He believes in us. It's okay. Uh, I have read, yeah, the manual. 21. Ready. Fight. Yeah. He's a thing. Oh, he's derpy. Okay. Well, well, it wasn't that much. Uh, whoa, okay. Expecting him to throw a rock. Oh, that's the thing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that's if we get trapped in a combo, um, then we are able to escape it using Square and X. Though it seems to not be useful right now. This is easy. I ain't gonna have to do this 21 times. Oop. Oh, I just want to pick up the chair, guy. You win. Yeah. Hua. Round two. Ready. Fight. Yeah, knowing these few simple things has made this a lot easier. Oh, no pain. So I'm guessing he doesn't like. Oh no! Never mind. Oh. Yeah, this is much easier now. I mean, I obviously am not guarding, but... Was that... Did she just kick? It, it looked like she levitated off the ground, like... Oh, okay, whatever. Well, she's not doing it. Oh, we win. I just want to see if the thing happened. Vanquishing the escapee, Gila forced him into his cell. He looked desperate, wild-eyed, and gruff. He would not tell her his name, wanting only to go by his cell number, 21. Angered by his devious answers, Gila pressed him to tell her where Stitch's lair was. The hulking man, 21, told Gila that he'd fought this Stitch days earlier himself when the guards fled from Aquila. He explained He'd heard Stitch lived in the underground sewers and thought to seek him as well. Keela, locking 21 in his cell, said that she would deal with Stitch and that she'd return to free him with the guards. But why did he need to be locked? Whatever. It's only 1225. I suspect this to be done. Well... By 1.30, maybe. Who knows? Well, actually. There we go. I just don't see a purpose to picking up things and then doing commas with them. Redirection. Redirection. Okay. Keela knew well the land of Barbaria, and so traveled safely the shores of solitude to the underground sewers. She'd entered the stench-filled tunnels, sword and shield ready. Stitch, shocked to see the heroine, squealed in fear as a cornered rat <laughs> okay. Stitch fought. In Stitches Part 2, for this part, whatever. How am I going to title this? Doesn't matter. 
Does it really matter? Well, last episode. Ooh, a friend. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to. I was gonna pick them up because they're. You could pick them up and use them as combos or something like that. Well, I guess not. Never mind. Ooh, that's something unexpected. Let's see. There we go. We did the one thing. Whoa. So let's see. No. Uh, oh. We down here now. Wait, we can pick up the the uh It's not important, but store that. Okay, please. No. No. I shouldn't have been doing stupid stuff. Uh. Why? Come on. Why? Uh. What? I wanted to throw uh, them. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Well, no! Come on. You lose. I hope I get to figure out how to do that. When I get to, when I get to him, at least. Redirection. I can just play the tutorial. I, sh I should do that, because there's nothing wrong with playing the tutorial. I should have really saw that when I booted up the game, but I was so entertained with the thought of playing this blind. Oh well. Stupidity. It's the destroyer of all people or something. There was probably a quote. <laughs> the jab with the... Uh, well, good thing he's stuck. Great. Good game. Oh, come on. I can't pick that up. Oh no. Doesn't make sense I would be able to. Okay. Ooh. Why? She, she did do a thing. No! Oh. You lose. Round two. Ready. Fight. I don't know what the super shield does. Is that fair? You lose. Like it's instantly gonna kill me if I get trapped. If I if he activates it because he wants to. Maybe we should. No. Redirection. Uh. Oh well. Come 
one game. Please. I don't want to be up for three hours. Or, or uh, how, I don't know how long it was. Ready. Actually, it was like two hours, three minutes or something like that. Not about three. Exactly that long. Oh. There we go. Oh, come on. Just gotta spam the same thing over and over again. There we go. You win. You win. Right. Round two. Ready. Oh yeah. So uh, the manual states that every character in here is a barbarian. Why? I don't know. Because they are. I couldn't. I didn't want to, to block. Well, actually, if I blocked it, it wouldn't matter anyways. No, I wanted to jump over him. Uh... Well, that ain't gonna happen now. Oh. <laughs> so that's what... Oh, he's down. I win. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Well, you win. we did it. Again, Keela brought Stitch to defeat. This time, however, Keela bound him so she could question him. <laughs> Stitch was neither alive nor dead, but lived as the undead. He seemed perhaps more interested in dying than living, something Aww. that Keela used to her advantage. She told him that he would spend his eternal life in Acrola if he did not tell her all he knew of her father and blood song. Why didn't he just, Stitch you know, do the suicide? The I know that's... Magnus, in this case, it makes sense. Father, and that Magnus knew the answers to her questions. He existed in shipwreck waters. Well, let's go there. Do easy made in the next episode, of course. Because this is 13 minutes. Or 14. Or 15. Let's make it not 30. In that next episode, we go take down Magnus Magnus. Mag Magus. Yes. We're going to kill Magus. Bye-bye.